Hey YouTube, this is Gracie and welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while since I have posted any sort of video, but that is because I have recently started a new job within the last couple months. So I've been pretty tired and haven't had the energy to do anything. So today I am going to be making another purse video for you. If you want to check out my last one, I'll leave a tag at the top here so you can check that out. It's a lot of fun. This one, I'm going to be turning a Hogwarts toiletry bag into a side satchel purse. I got this out of a subscription box that I'm no longer subscribed to, um, but I thought it looked really cool and I just don't need any more toiletry bags and I like purses. So I'm just going to alter it a bit. This one's super cool because it has the uh, cauldron on the front with Hogwarts in the center. These really cool corner details, both on the back and the front. And then also on the side here, it has the signature of the Half-Blood Prince or spoiler alert, Snape. Um, on the inside, it has this really cool green design of cauldrons with their with it smoking a little and it looks like it has like potion ingredients or um you know scientific mathematic things <laughs> so i'm going to be turning that into a side satchel bag by attaching these straps now i'm not sure which color i'm going to use i have this yellow one i thought it would be cool if you did whatever color house you had um so i'm a hufflepuff so we gotta have the yellow or I might just go with the classic black because it really does match with the uh, pleather on the bag. So maybe I'll style both ways and see how it goes. Now the first thing I'm going to do is cut off this strap on the side. Then I'm going to uh, make two loops out of it and reattach them to the bag on both sides right underneath the zipper here. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, you know, keep watching because hopefully in the end it will. I hope you guys like today's video. If you do, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe, you know, subscribe. That would be cool. <laughs> um, I'm trying my hardest to get to 200 subscribers and we're trucking along. So definitely hit that subscribe button. I have some videos for you guys planned ahead for this spooky season. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be taking these pointy scissors, make sure to get some pointy ones, so that way I can get into this little crevice here, the little seam, and I'm trying to get all the way down without really, you know, damaging the bag too much, or at all, hopefully. And that way I'm trying really hard not to leave any of the strap behind, but if I leave a little bit, that's okay. Ah, nervous. So I'm just cutting uh, along there. <laughs> there we go. A little bit is showing and that's okay. It's all right. Now I'm gonna cut the other side. Just a little bit is showing on either side. That's okay. And now I'm folding it in half so that I can cut it and make two straps. I wanted to show you guys real quick what it's going to look like with the strap connected. So this is the loop that I've created with that larger strap that was on the side. And I've just ran my strap through and hopefully I'm going to be able to stitch the strap back onto this part of the bag. It's going to be really thick, so I'm just gonna to have to be really patient with it. But I think it hopefully will turn out pretty cool. Um, I'm also gonna be very careful with the way I'm hand stitching it. Um, if you have a sewing machine and you're really good at using them, especially for something thick like this, I would recommend doing that instead, but I'm not super skilled with a uh, sewing machine. So I'm gonna do it by hand. The other thing I thought about was you might be able to use fabric glue or um, maybe even super glue of some kind. And I don't really trust that process either, especially with myself, you know, so do whatever you're comfortable with, but I am going to hand stitch it, but um, be very careful with the way um, I stitch it. So that way it doesn't look too messy or like unprofessional. So just keep that in mind. 
wanted to show you real quick the progress so far. I've literally only gotten a couple of stitches in. It is extremely thick, so my hands are definitely going to hurt after this, but this is the progress so far. I'm just doing a simple stitch in and out, in and out, that kind of thing, nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at so far. I'm just gonna finish this up and I will show you the end result. So here is the finished stitching. It is a little crazy and I wish it could have been a little like straighter, but it's pretty hard cause it's super thick, but at a distance, I don't think you'll be able to see it. And if worse comes to worse, maybe I'll put like a piece of ribbon over it or something, but yes, that is done. I am going to stitch on the next strap and then I'll show you guys the finished product of both of them being on there. Here it is, all finished, sewn up. I could have been a little bit more precise with the stitch work, but it was really thick and now my thumb hurts really bad. But <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. I was a little nervous about the rectangle shape not fitting well on my hip, but it actually looks pretty cute and you're gonna see um, what it looks like on in just a minute. I'm excited to be uh, interchanging the yellow strap with it as well. I think that will add a nice color pop. But yes, here it is, the finished product. I really, really like how it turned out. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and leave a little, I don't know, maybe like a purse icon in the comment section. All right, let me show you what it looks like on.